Yes, 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 yes. What's good, everybody? Salute, salute, salute. Knicks Real Talk, the pregame, Divine Shaw Powers, Knicks in Boston at the TD Garden at 7.30. Ladies and gentlemen, we in the building the um, last three games of the season. At tonight, we got two more after this one, but we about to go down against a, a division rival. Goes back so many years. Knicks in Boston, Celtics in Boston, man. And we about to get it popping, man. We bring my partner in crime in the building. No other but my brother, Shaw Powers. What's good, my man? Salute to you, Divine. Salute to the chat. Let's get it. Salute everybody. Brian, big task at hand. My man, what's popping? Andrew, what's good? The Stand Still Podcast. Stan, what's good, my man? NYC B Ball in the building. The chat in the building, the family, as we would say. We in here, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to go down to Bean Town tonight. Big game for the New York Knicks, as always. It seems like every game is a big game for us. But this one, for a lot of reasons, to keep us where we need to be at in the standards and everything like that, man. Um, we sit in the third spot, a half a game in front of Cleveland. Um, so we can go out there tonight and kind of just get this litmus test out the way. Um, I don't know how many guys they're going to play tonight in Boston, but they're gonna. I know they're going to play some of them. But our goal tonight is no matter if they play them or they don't play them, is to go out there and beat these cats tonight, man. And um, So, you know, we, this one team that's really been a thorn in our side all year long, um, this one of them teams that we need to beat, we want to beat. And, uh, and it's just a good test for us. Now we get to play them, you know, with Ananobi in the building and all that good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to this game just to see, you know, what adjustments we're going to need to make if we want to face the cat somewhere down the line. So Shop Power, I'm looking forward. It should be a really fun, exciting game tonight. It should be a big game, man. I'm really looking forward to it. John McDonald, salute. 19 Con, my man was good. My brother was popping. We're the thrill. You know the deal. We'll shake it in the building. Salute to all you guys. Thank y'all for coming in. But Shop Power, big game tonight, man. You know, this thing goes back to the 70s with these Boston Celtics, dude. You know what I mean? So we just hope that our team come out of tonight. And really get out there and put a good game tonight. Hopefully we can win this thing and get to 48 wins and be two way for 50. So I'm really excited about the thing. Either way it goes, man. Just from a litmus test standpoint and a chance to um to get the 50 wins and try to maintain that third seed. You never know what happens in um, Milwaukee. They last two games to get the Thunder and the Bucks without Giannis. So let's see how it goes tonight. Tonight for me, this is a big game because uh beginning of the year, I predicted the Knicks would get at least bare minimum 48 wins. So I'm looking forward to seeing them make that accomplishment tonight. Um, you know, this is a this is a rivalry from way, way back before I even was thought about, you know what I mean? And um, it'll continue to be one, you know what I mean? Um, see who they put out there tonight, uh, see if they come out with their full contingent, uh, see if they come out with, you know, all their guys tonight. But uh whatever whatever the whatever the case is, the the main the main reason why the Knicks are going to play this basketball game because they need to win this game. 
And uh, I think the Knicks are going to go out to do exactly what they've been doing, um, trying to win every game, push the buttons, uh, you know, cause chaos and confusion, uh, you know, pl- applying a stellar defense, um, get, ramping up their offensive uh, prowess. And I think that's what they're going to do, man. And I, I'm just waiting to see what they get out there to do tonight, whoever comes on the court. Yeah, yeah, real tough fact, job. Um, I, I think they're gonna come out there and play tonight, man, real hard tonight. Go out there and get it popping, and um, you know, and, you know, just knowing that we already did what we set out to do, ladies and gentlemen, we get that out the way real quick. The New York Knicks, ladies and gentlemen, clinch. The clinch is in the building. We in there, six spot guarantee. No matter, no matter what happens, first back to back playoff appearance in ten years. Um, uh, excuse me, in ten years. So, you know, we excited about that, man. Our boys went out there and did the damn thing um, and made New York City fan base proud. We are finally we back in the playoff two years in a row, and I'm really looking forward to it, man. I, I think the best is yet to come. So we do want to go out there tonight to get a get a pop. And like NYC, man, we, do we show boss in our hand tonight? Um, that's a good question, NYC. Um, you know, I think we go out there because I think we fighting for something. And I think they want to get that. Get the crap out of them. That's what we right, do. Right. We want to definitely make sure we stay in that fourth seed or higher to get that home court advantage. And the standards is so tight um, that, you know, I think if we win tonight, we pretty much going to lock up the third or fourth seed, I would say. Um, no question about it. Um, so, yeah, I think they're going to go out there and give them, give them what they got to give them because, you know, we're not going to see them in the first round. You know, obviously, because they, that, that, that we just too high up in the standards and they are too high. So, you know, we just got to go out there and do what we do, man. But I'm looking forward to them. I'm going out there and win the game tonight, man. I, I just want the Knicks to win uh, and just see see what we can what we what, what we can do. Excuse me. To let them see and, and let us self see what we got to do when we play them again. So we we need because like I said, that team is deep, ladies and gentlemen. Whether we like Boston or not, they are fucking deep. They they starting five is all defenders. All of them can defend. They, uh, you got three guys in there who guaranteed to get you buckets. Uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Taylor, and Paul Zingas, they guaranteed you 20. They guaranteed you 20. So, and I'm, obviously, Drew Holiday ain't no joke. And um, dude, um, Derek White is, is no joke neither. They they compliment you role player. That's why they just signed my man, um, just Drew Holiday, to a four year center, 33 million a year, 130 million, because he's that good, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, so it's a big test for us. But I also know this right here we good too. You know what I mean, we good too. We got a deep team, just like they got a deep team. We got a one A player, just like they got a one A player. Um, obviously, we missing Julius Randle, but I think without from what I seen with Ananobi the other night, I I think we I think we're gonna be okay, ladies and gentlemen. I really do. It's just that we, now we, we we got a one D player. This guy is a defensive juggernaut, right, right? So I do think we we gonna be okay there, just due to the fact that um when he showed me the other night. I'm like, okay, he got we got somebody who really could then and do the Randall thing. Maybe not rebound as much as Randall do, but look like his offense would look like it's coming in the form at three corner, that three point shot from the corner. He put the ball on the floor, going to the whole bully ball. So, you know, and he's taller. You know what I mean? He's got the size and everything. So it's gonna be a good match. That's why I want to see them play tonight, because I want to see what he's gonna do with Jason Tatum tonight. Um, and um and all that good stuff. So it should be a fun matchup all around, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how we look at it. Um we we just gotta go out there and play, man, and um and let our guy do what they do. But so far, so good. Late shot powers, forty seven wins, coming off a good win the other night in Chicago. We get back to the East Coast. Now we got this game against Boston. We're going back down to MSG for the last two games to close it out and get ready to head in all the, into the into the playoffs, man. So big game tonight. I'm looking forward to get it popping, man. And if we go out there with tonight, that's gonna be extra special. Uh, matter of they play their guys not like I said. The main, the ultimate goal is to win the game. And, uh, uh, and, and and get the fifty wins, and if we win tonight, I think we give. I think we get the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow, and then we close it out Sunday, and then we go from there, man. But o- overall, it just it just been a fun ride, man. I I can't be more excited about what we've been through this year. Peaks and valley from an injury standpoint, not wins and losses, but peaks and valley because of injuries. You know, uh, we lose this guy, we lose that guy, we get this guy back, this guy goes out, so it's just like a peak and valley thing. But overall, forty seven wins with everything we've been through says a lot about the team, and I think this is one of the most Playoff, playoff tested team. Think about this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, every player, let me get this right. Every player on the New York Knicks rotation has played in the playoffs. All of them. All of them. Pressure to Chew, I think, played in there. McBride played in there the past year. Bogdan been there. Ananobi won a ring, but he didn't play, but he won a ring that year. He was hurt. But Josh Hart been there. 
we got guys who literally playoff tested. And I'm really looking forward to this thing when, um, when next week comes because we're not going to go in there with no butterflies because we got guys who've been in the big game already. They've been there. They know what it means. And, uh, and I'm really excited about it. Um, this thing. We just need to take one game at a time and win this one, obviously. So I'll probably get on to it. But real quick salute to the rest of the family in the chat. West Coast Knicks was good, my man. Good to see you, my brother. Salute to you. Chris Rowe, my man, was good. Was good. CC was popping. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. Next we'll talk free game. Divine shot power. Knicks and, and Boston about to go in there and give them the Boston massacre tonight. Hopefully the beat down in Beantown. That's what I'm looking at. But um, it should be a fun game tonight, man, Shop House. I'm really looking forward to all of it, man. It's going to be on TNT, ladies and gentlemen. You might have to block out the pregame stuff. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stuff. Then when the game starts, you t- I, know, I normally get past Shaq and all them. And then when the game starts, I turn it on, you know, and all that yeah. good stuff, man. So, but, you know, it is. That's like on 2K. Out. You don't want to hear none of that right, stuff. Right. But yes. t- tonight, yes. also, this is a, another big accomplishment for um Tom Thibodeau. Um, this is his 47th win. Uh, the same he just uh, eclipsed the same amount of wins that he had last year. So that is a, a major thing for Tom Thibodeau. And um, Tom Thibodeau uh, this year has changed a little bit. Not much. Some some of the things he do uh, have done in the beginning of the season towards uh, January or so was you know rel- rel- relatively um, the similar. But since he has not had Julius Randle. Uh, he didn't have OG, uh, you know, uh, no Mitchell Robinson. When I, Mitchell Robinson's been out for a while. He has rotated this uh, rotation into, um, you know, some some rotations that come out on the floor. You never would expect that uh, Tom Thibodeau would have put them out there. Um, he has, uh, you know, ran some plays into the hole, but they're still here, and he needed to do that. You know what I mean? And they were there to uh, absorb all that pressure. And come up with some wins majority of the time. Um, you know, my big thing tonight is to salute Tom Thibodeau for getting us uh into the playoffs. We are solidified uh top six in the in the East this year. Uh, you know, and so far we have surpassed uh where we are uh were last year. I think we were fifth last year. So we'll fall, you know, these next th- three games or so. I I don't think we I don't think we'll lag off or anything. I, I believe. You know, and that that Homer and me saying that the Knicks can win all three of these games, and um, that will put us at 50 wins, and that will have a, a a spectacular year for Tom Thibodeau coming back from a 47 win year last year to a 50 uh, season win this year. So you know, with those things that could happen, you know, I mean, I'm happy to see what the Knicks are going to put out there on the floor tonight. You know my mantra. You know my motto. I've been running this mantra uh, the whole 80. Uh, so what's this, 80 games right now or the whole 80 games? Control the pace, grab these rebounds, hit your free throws, and shoot over 36% tonight. And I believe the Knicks are going to go out there and do all of those things tonight and then some. Yeah, yeah, real talk, man. I agree. They're going to go out there and play hard. Um, salute to everybody in the chat again, like I said. And I just want to uh, – my man did answer the question. I want to put that out of the forum early. My man, um, my man um, the Stand Steel podcast, I do um, – you asked me that question early in the show. I got the Knicks winning tonight. I, I think they, I think the my man, uh, yeah, I think they win the night, man. I think they go out there and do the damn thing because they're looking at they Lee, Lee. My man. I don't think Boston are gonna play as hard as the Knicks tonight. Let me put it like that Boston don't need the game, so they're not gonna go out there and try to go out there and play too hard and hurt themselves and mess up their championship aspirations. Just <laughs> believe that. So I'm I in that same token, too, Devon. I think that they're not gonna go out tonight and show no cards, they're not gonna show no face, they're not gonna show how they're gonna. Uh, you know, apply, uh, you know, playing any pressure. Um, last I seen, I, I we're gonna get to the breakdown, but I don't think a lot of these players are gonna play tonight. That's another thing that I've been saying a couple of uh, casts ago. Um, that I think that th- that they'll probably lay it down. They're already 15 games above. They don't need to get no nicks or no injuries. Uh, Pozingas is a little hurt right now. I think he had um some type of leg or hamstring or something like that. Something something light, nothing major. You know what I mean, so I, I think they're going to sit some of these guys down, um, you know, give this game away to the Knicks, and we'll see them in the second round. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Yeah, uh, second or third. Um, hopefully, it's a third round. He's a conference. Yeah, second fight. or third. Make sure uh, it's third. 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 Third.
Hey, Ken, he playing good, man. That's why you're right, though. We should go out there. And, you know, this is a rivalry, man. This this is not just any game. It's not any team. This is Knicks Miami. It's Knicks Boston. This this Wild Cl- this Walt Clyde Frazier, John Havlicek. You know what I mean? This is um, uh, Bill Kyle, Kyle, um Willis Reed. You know what I mean? This this is uh, Patrick Ewan, um, Larry Bird and them. I mean, this, this shit keep going on and on. Um, the Camelo Anthony and Kevin Garnett and these dudes. You know what I mean? This, it, this is really, really – uh, one of the true robberies in, 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 when it comes to basketball in the NBA. Boston's up and the Knicks go back many years. So, you know, it's, it's a new era, new time, but same same rivalry, but, you know, same uniform, same team, but different era. But I, I do think Jalen Brunson want to go out there and let them know that I'm here. You know what I mean? And I'm here, and I think that's what it's going to be. And and, and I, I want to see him get a pop. And I'm, I want to see – I never got to see Ananobi. This is why I want Jason Tatum to play tonight. For the, the let the Knicks fans see, this is the reason why we brought Ananobi over here. For this very reason right here is the reason why the New York Knicks brought Ananobi over to New York against a play against this boy we about to play with tonight if he play, Jason Tatum. That's why we brought him over here. The play against Giannis the other night, that's why we brought him over here. So that's why I want to see them guys play, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I think he's the X factor to me in this whole – and he's going to go – obviously we know Javon Brunson is that dude, no question about it. If he go down, the whole Knicks team go down. But the X factor to me in the playoff for New York Knicks is, is OG Ananobi. If he's going to be playing the best player on everybody's team, and we can slow down anybody's A1, slow him down, it gives us a good chance to win a game. So that's why I want to see him play my man tonight. Um, because even whether he played hard or not, um, Jason Tatum will have his hand full. They played, he played the Knicks in the, in the, in the Eastern Conference final with Ananobi on him. You could book that, you could book it. So that's what I'm excited about. I'm giddy about this thing, man. Um, we just gotta go there, have some fun tonight, play ball, we'll win the game, try to get, get this, get it, get this thing over with, win the game, and then move on to the next. My man, Jerry, Jerry was good. My brother, salute, salute. Jerry Frick can't leave my brother out, but yeah, man, I, I just want to see him go out there and do the damn thing, Shaw Power. Just go out there. And um, you know, cross T's and dot eyes like we always say, and, and and play for 48 minutes until you don't have to play no more. We don't want nobody get just like Boston don't want to get nobody injured. We don't want to get nobody injured either. You know what I mean? You know, so we gotta also, you know, just do what we do. But uh, I want to see the Brunson burner. What I love about what the Knicks are doing, what's what's important to me, it, it's it's timing is everything. We are hitting a good stride right going into the playoffs. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you want to go into the playoffs with a good rhythm. You know what I mean? Um, and if you don't you're not you, you don't go in there with a good rhythm, somebody might knock you off early. So I'm glad to see that the Knicks has won a couple of games. If the Knicks close out this these last five games or five game win streak going into the playoff, that's gonna bode well for them because they got a good rhythm, they got continuity going, and uh, a lot of teams don't have that. So let's see how it goes, man. But I think these cats go out there tonight and get it popping and and try to win this thing, shop out and get on over to um um get back home to the MSG tomorrow, Friday night Knicks. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know, this uh, you know, blow back to back, and I, I'm just happy to see that the um, you know, the New York Knicks is gonna get out there tonight and play some basketball. And I mean, as a Knicks fan, you know, uh, when it, you know, coming from uh, salute to Tony Crow from the Knicks and Bruises, from seeing the team being a bad team coming to what the team has transitioned into now, I'm happy to see it, man. And I, I think that the Knicks is gonna you know, come out and perform every night. That's one thing that I can guarantee, um, you know, as I don't remember too many games in this 80, 80, so far 80 games, uh, 79 games into the season that the Knicks have um, really been sucker punched. And I mean, um, they they really gritty. They, they'll they come back on you, um, you know, and if they come back with the right mindset, they'll take the game away from you. So, and this team has just been like that. They play on runs. And they play on defensive spurts. And, um, you know, um, the one thing that I can say about the Knicks this year, that's another good thing, is that um, they, they're they still number one uh, re- a rebounding team in the league. And, um, you know, they, they, they pride themselves on defense. And I'm happy that we got Mitchell Robinson back. I'm, 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 I'm overwhelmed that we got um, OG back. And, um, you know, this is going to be a fun run. You know what I mean? This is going to be a fun run. I wish Randall was here, but I think we have enough to um to push forward and uh you know make it real interesting and into June. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm with you on that, man. I'm hoping I'm hoping I, I'm hoping that if Ananobi can fill Julius Randall's shoes, 
then um, DiVincenzo can feel and he's doing better now. Yeah, right. doing, he, he he play he play your front he 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 play off style now. His his right. percentages the last couple of games has been awesome, man. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to see right now. Yep. So everybody got to pick up everybody. And that's why I said <laughs> a man can do Randall numbers and and uh, DiVincenzo can do um, OG numbers. Josh Hart can do the Chinzo numbers. Then we get my man Bogdan to do Hart numbers, McBride to do Bogdan numbers, and so on and so on. Everybody just got to take a step up and do do the other man's numbers. We good. And right now, I know that Bogdan can do anybody numbers when he on. So if he give us fifteen off the bench, that that's that's lit. You know what I mean? And and I think that if we got we we and the way the, the tens playing this thing now, Shaw Powers. Whether I don't know if we're gonna go ten or nine, uh, nine maybe. But if you go nine, then obviously that means that somebody in the starter unit going to be with the second unit sometime, or might vice versa, mix up whatever. So you know, it, it, we 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 got we got enough in an arsenal to to compete against anybody. And I still think because of what Jalen Brunson doing, if he continue on the pace that he on, we gonna be okay because he always keep us in the game. Him and our defense always keep us close. And um and when he showed me the last game with that three point ball. Um, the way he was knocking that three-point down against Alex Caruso, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best defenders in the game, damn near, at that position. He was lighting his ass up. Uh, Alex Caruso had been gave up 27 points to only two people last year, and this year he only gave up 24 points to a couple of people. Jalen Brunson dropped 40-something on him. You know what I mean? For literally, Alex Caruso having that nobody scored 24 on him this year but two people. Jalen Brunson gives him a 40. So that mean, and that cat is a hell of a defender. So that, that, if he could do that against him, then and I'm good. I'm good. You know, what I mean, real talk, man. So, you know, it's interesting to see how our team gonna the, the react when we play Boston tonight. That's why it's a big game. Let's get into the um the pregame, the preview of the of what's going on tonight. We get back at it. Let's get this it. is the pregame show. Divine Shaw Power, the family, the chat. I open up the panel when we come back through and everything like that. Just in case my brother C. Lee or anybody would have get on. Before I go over to that real quick, let me shout out my brother Peace of the God, Allah Wise, D. Ross, Willie Cruz, everybody. Um, Sue Andrew, Travel Vibes, my man, what's good? Salute, salute. Make sure I hit that like and subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. Stop fronting. We in here, Knicks in Boston and Beantown. It's about to go down. Let's look at what's on the on itinerary tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We get back at it, man. Real talk. Um, what I'm looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight, there you go, Knicks in Boston. On TNT lead pass against the Boston Southern in Beantown at the TD Garden. Let's get it. Um, clinch, ladies and gentlemen. We are in there. The playoffs is officially there. We are in there. The Knicks is in there. Um, they got a 60th playoff berth for their team history. They in there. Here go the stats, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is the point where a lot of a lot of times when I show this right here, the Knicks normally on a other on a better side of everything. But look at these cats they playing tonight. We 47 and 32, they 62 and 17. We third in the East, they first in the East. I'm loving that. Um, 22 and 18 away, they 35 and 3 at home. We eighth in offense rate, they number one. We ninth in defense rate, they number two. We fifth in association net rate, and they number one. Damn, that's a hell of a game right there. That is gonna be crazy. These, these, you know, and our, our defense, we number one in a lot of categories, though. Though we ninth. But their defense is they lit. They are. They got they they whole starting five can defend ladies and gentlemen from top to bottom. They can defend all of them. So that's what make them where they have when it comes to defense rating. Um, so you gotta give them their flower. They um my man um put a hell of a team in um together. Brad Stevens did a hell of a job with that, with that organization. You gotta give them the flower. Analytics. Yeah. Analytics. Yeah, yeah. He put it, he put it, he put it together. But that go our man of Brunson Burner moving up to 28.4 a game, 3.6 assists. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this right here. Jason Taylor, 27, four assists, eight rebounds. Ladies and gentlemen, 28, four, seven rebounds. That boy, if you put anybody in the MB, MVP conversation, he better be in there. Literally, he's he been playing with his whole squad the whole year. He's been playing fully healthy. This man been playing without Julius Randle, Ananobi, and Mitchell Robinson. We still, <laughs> we still third in the East. That's <laughs> right there. Forget, forget all that other. Forget the Giannis and the Jokic and none of them. Jalen Brunson should be the MVP in an NBA period because of what he done done with less, with a much less. Three starters, still third in the East, might get second. But team leaders, ladies and gentlemen, 28, 27, Randall, nine rebounds, Jason Taylor, eight rebounds, 
Um, Jalen Brunson, 6.7 assists, almost seven assists a game. My man, Derek White, is um, a five assists a game. Last five games, we four, three, and two. Finally got a pop in the last two games. We beat the um, Bucks and we beat the uh, the Bulls. These guys, um, they are pretty much five and one. They just lost to the Bucks by 13. Um, Milwaukee needed that game. They won that one. Um, previous matchup, they beat us by 14 points. That was on uh, February. Um, Jalen Brown had 30. J- Jalen Brother had 34. Jalen Brown had eight rebounds. Pressure Chua had nine. I need you, Pressure Chua. We, we need you in the playoffs, my man. Real talk. You need to do that same thing in the playoffs. Um, Jalen Taylor had six assists. Brunson had nine. Um, tonight, we in, a, we in a blue drip tonight. They in a white drip tonight. Um, projector started for the New York Knicks. Is our same usual suspects. Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, DiVincenzo, OG Ananobi, and Isaiah Hartenstein. And for these guys, projected. Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Poor Dingus. That won't be the case. I don't think Drew Holiday might play tonight and Poor Dingus. Um, injury report, Julius Randle out for the season. Charlie Brown and Dwayne Watson, game time decision, but they never play anyway. So, And um, for them guys, game time decision, um, O'Shea Brissett, Drew Holiday, game time decision, Chris Stapp, game time decision. Tillman is out um, for them guys, and that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, like I said, when you look at that stat line that we put up there, them guys are pretty dominant in a lot of categories, man. And um, they not they not they not no slouch, you know. But I think we're gonna come in and play hard and get at them tonight, though. But let's see how it goes, man. We ain't never scared. That's real talk, man. So Ty Powell, we just gotta go out there and it's a big litmus test for us tonight. But it's only gonna help because when you play a good team like Boston at the end of the season, it's only gonna tune you up for the playoffs. You know what I mean? We it's not like we going in we going at the end of the season playing the Detroit Pistons. Or, or, you know what I mean, somebody who's not even in the thing. We, our next next to the last game of the season is against a, one of the, if not the best team in the league. So I, I think it bodes well for us just to get that to get that little running with them to, to kind of get us prepared. You know what I mean? I, you know, get prepared for what's about to happen in about another week. Uh, salute Jerry Fix for um, refreshing my memory. Salute to Julius Randle. Didn't mention him. Salute to Julius Randle uh, for a successful – uh um surgery uh that was out there today um glad. glad everything went well um you know you should be healing up right now um you know I, i've been through an arm surgery so i know it's a uh agonizing thing something that you're gonna have to do rehab for a couple of months and stuff like that but the the clock starts ticking after you uh get out of the operation room yes, um Salute, salute, salute to him. Um, you know, for helping us bring bringing us to where we were this season. And I mean, without Julius Randle, we wouldn't be knocking on fifty right now. And I mean, so got to give him big salutes. He was a All Star this year. He was a could have been also in the MVP voting the way the year he was having this year. So uh, want to give big salutes to Julius Randle uh, for being here and taking the chance with the Knicks when he first got here. Uh, up teen years ago, uh, up teen seasons ago. Um, hey man, this 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 um, you know the, the matchups. You know, I I I just you know, Matt. The, the whole thing I was saying a couple of uh, a couple of episodes ago was um about matchups and how um you know it, it's all it, the rest of this season and the playoffs is going to come down to matchups and um. You know, however we match up, uh, whoever we get, you know, um, Tom Thibodeau is going to lay a format of playing out there to um, match up with them. You may see a little bit of pressure this year against one of the bigger teams. You know what I mean? You may see Bodong starting uh, a game or something like that to give us more offense in the starting unit. You um, you know, uh, or you may see Tom Thibodeau come out there with that, the, uh, the smaller unit that he likes. He likes that Deuce McBride. With Josh Hart, DiVincenzo, and 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 Brunson, you know what I mean. With Hardenstein, so um, we got a lot of ways with, that we could, that we can uh, formulate a plan. Now we got Mitchell Robinson back. You know what I mean, and um, the last game he was a little sluggish, but he should have been sluggish. He just had a surgery on that ankle, and he played a couple of hard games with some big minutes. You know what I mean? So he should have been a little sluggish. You know and I mean, he had a couple of days to take off. You know them um. Trainers are going to work his leg out, his elbow, his toes. He's going to be in the ice baths. He's going to be with the the the, um, the heated pads on. He's going to be with the stimuli. He's going to have all that stuff at his helm to do whatever they need to do to get him to be ready for this playoff run coming. Um, I think you'll see him out there a little bit tonight. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, Hardenstein, uh, they'll ramp up. Hardenstein, a couple more minutes for Hardenstein, a couple more minutes for Mitchell Robinson tonight. 
I'm not scared of no team in the East now, man. Um, whoever whoever we get, if we if we fall to the second spot, or if we fall to if we fall into the second spot, or stay at the third spot, or even drop down to the fourth spot, I'm not nervous about any team in the East right now. Uh, the way the Knicks are playing, and a good thing, like you said, Divine, we need to ramp it up. When these next uh, three games, you know, this game and the next two games, this way we have a, a, a you know good comma going into the playoffs. You know what I mean? We're going in winning. We get a little break so our guys get a little healthy. It's going to probably be a week, a week or so before that uh, playing is over. And let's get it. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Um, you know, uh, let's look at this here right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just for sake of just keeping tabs, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. I apologize for that one. Um, if you look at this right here, this is right now the playoff pitcher in the East as we are right now. Right now, the New York, the Suns have got the one seed. They be playing the eighth seed. The Bucks right now got the two seed. They be playing the seventh. Right now, we at the three. We will be playing the Indiana Pacers. If everything stayed the same right now, the way it is, which is not going to stay the same, but you had the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Magic, the Miami Heat, and the um, 76 of the eighth and seventh in the play in. The winner of that will play the seventh seed, which is the Milwaukee Bucks. The loser goes on to play the winner of the the ninth and 10th Hawks series and the Bulls series, the winner of that will play the number to be the AFC and they will play the Boston Celtics. Um, the reason why I brought that up, the reason why I thought it would be good if the Knicks get the second seed, because the, no matter who this is, I think like in this bracket, they got to play a game. So that means that's a game they got to play. Then they got to go play us. But if we play right now, will we at the third seed against the Pacers home court advantage? I'm not scared. I'm not worried about that neither. Um, so it's interesting to see. And then if you look at, here's what's interesting to me, ladies and gentlemen. I want to put this out there. Let's look yeah, at that. Stat. We stand in the background. <laughs> okay. Let's look at this stat right here. The conference is the record. Obviously, the Knicks are 32 and 17. The Cleveland Cavaliers 32 and 20, 30 and 20, and Orlando and the Pacers. But here's what's important to me. Um, Orlando's 18 and 22 on the road. Um, they the own and the, the Milwaukee Bucks is 18 and 20 on the road. They're not they under 500 road teams. We are on the opposite side of the spectrum when it comes to road. We 22 and 18 on the road. So we win tonight, we'd be 23 and 18. So we have, and but our home record is pretty dominant as well. So I, it bodes well for the Knicks in that category because I feel like we could win on a home, we could win at home and on a road. You know what I mean? So I think that's gonna be a good look for us when it comes to getting down to the grid of the playoffs. Uh, we we ten and five in the division. Um, everybody's over five. They fifteen one in the division. Milwaukee ten and seven. We ten and five. Cleveland ten and five. Orlando nine and seven. And Indiana's eleven and five in the division. In the conference, we look pretty good there. We know we got probably the third best tie with a third best conference record in the association when it comes to the East and Kobe thirty two and seventeen. So I, I think that says a lot about when we go into the playoffs. How are we gonna match up against a lot of teams? And I think the Knicks got a van for a lot of reasons. Number one, Milwaukee's I mean, um Milwaukee's not a good road team and Orlando's not a good road team. But the Knicks got a better offense than a lot of teams in associates in the East. Boston, you know, they got a good offense. Milwaukee got a good offense. We got a good offense. We don't got a good offense when it comes to certain statistic categories, but when it comes to scoring out, we up there. We we able to hold our own. So, but I, I really think that it's gonna be important that the Knicks go out there and do what they do and let everything take care of. Our defense will take us to the third round. I believe it. Long Jalen Brunson and Devin Chinzo and, and Ananobi can perform at the level they performing at. With our defense and Deuce McBride doing what he's doing and um, um, excuse me, Bogdan getting his rhythm and Josh Hart triple-double thing that he's doing, I think that's going to carry us because our defense is special. I, I, I think defense win championships. Offense win games. Defense win championship. And we, the Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks got one of the best defense in the Eastern Conference. That's why I got them two right there where I got them at. Um, the goal shot powers pretty much to go to match, go get with each other in, a, um, excuse me, in the Eastern Conference final because I think their defense is that legit. And I, and I do think they got enough to, um, offense to go with that. So let's, let's see how it goes. But I, all the other teams, not too much worried about. We done gave Cleveland the business with, um, last year with a hobble Julius Randle. They, they got a little better team, but we also got better too. So we got a guy who could take away their best player. Um, we got another guy who could – Got uh, shooting this year. We got yeah, shooting. Yeah, shooting. That's right. There you go. So that that's why I, I put all that out there, man. But um, 
we, we only three teams clinching the East so far: Boston Southern Knicks and uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Everybody else, um, the Cavaliers, Orlando Magic, the Pacers, they in playoffs. Um, they in playoff positioning, but we clinch. So, so in other words, you still got three more teams who can be in the playoffs, but we definitely gonna be in no matter what. Knicks would there's no way Knicks will fall out of being in the playoffs. That's a good thing. But um, I think we just gotta go out there tonight, man, and really get it popping tonight. And, and, and just show the cats what we really made of, man. Because I, I just want this. I just want this to be the fifty win season. And let me tell you something. I picked the fifty wins at the beginning of the year, and and didn't realize how dope, how good we were gonna be when we lost all these players. So and for us to win fifty games, and got decimated with them injuries, I cannot say enough about this team, bro. If they, if it weren't for Julius Randle, Ananobi, and Mitchell Robinson going down, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm excited. I, I, I know. I know what to tell you, Divine. Me, you know, we don't like dealing with the hypothetics and all that stuff. Right. But since we're talking about it, um, if those guys went and went down this year, uh, Boston might not have my, Boston might not have already clinched the first position right. if they, if right. if they would have made it to the first position. Mm -hmm. I mean, because a couple of the games we went to the first game of the year, and I never forget that game. That was all about free throw shooting. You know, what I mean, that was free throw game. They missed like twelve free throws, but. And they only lost by five. But with with the trades that they have made and what the Knicks have acquired, if we could have kept, you know, if we would have kept Julius Randle, if Julius Randle was on the court, and he, maybe not even Mitchell Robinson, but if Julius Randle and OG was on the court together, you know, we might be, you know, they might not have been close. We've been real close to that, what they, 61? We'd have been real close to that 61 right now, and yeah. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real talk. And, um, AP said, do you think there's a big move coming to summer? We'll talk about AP. I think something's going to happen, but I won't be opposed to bringing this team back fully healthy. But I did, I do think something's going to happen because I just think they one player from next one, one more player away from doing this shit. I don't know what, what, what play they will bring in, but whatever they do, I think they, they bring in one more juggernaut. It's over. That's, that's all I can say. <laughs> it's over. Because uh, I, I think, I think, um, heart and sign, let's play this here. I think Ananobi, Randall, and Jalen Brunson is already a, a, a solid core. I mean, solid. I mean, beyond solid. Jalen Brunson, Ananobi, and Randall. You get anybody to add to that, it's game on then to me because I mean, <laughs> you know that that's a lot of firepower. Who, who it can be, who knows? Let's see how. Let you know this would one thing I could say, ladies and gentlemen. It all depends how the playoff shakes out. Let some of these big dogs get knocked out in the playoffs. Let some of these, these 1A boys get knocked out early and be like, you know what, I can't win here. I'm out. You know who got the best options? New York Knicks. That's why this is going to be crazy. This will not only the playoff crazy for a lot of reasons, everybody know the Knicks is one, one player or something like that away from doing damage, literally. So let's see how the playoff play. Let's say if um, Milwaukee get knocked out fast. Let's say if Cleveland get knocked out fast. Or uh, Miami or Philly, you never know. They might gonna feel like the organization ain't put enough around around me to win a championship for them. But if I go to New York, where well, they got a foundation already of one A's and one B's and defenders and shooters and coaches and everything, they might say my ticket to a championship is to go to the New York Knicks. And that's pretty much what I'm looking at. The way the Knicks is built right now is that if any one of these 1A players in the East or West get knocked out early and they don't see their team because of maybe their Sally Cap situation, like put it like this here. If the Phoenix Suns get knocked out and they don't got no picks, I mean, they, <laughs> they gave up everything to put this team together. If KD, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and all these cats don't get to the finals or win it, them cats out, somebody out. Cause they they that they not gonna have nothing, no money or this to bring in there. That's just like Boston. Yep. Yeah, they put all their eggs in their basket, man. Um, and, and, and so it, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, I just to answer your question, um, AP, I do think somebody gonna come here next year. Who it is, I cannot tell you. But um, I know we'll, they, we'll talk about we'll talk about that in July and one of the one right, of right. the uh, in July. We'll talk about that after the Fourth of July or something like that. Yeah, yeah, real talk, man. But yeah, it, you know, right now tonight is just going there and get Boston the Universal beat down. That's what we got to do. We got to go and beat these boys down tonight, and um, and, and and you know, just win the game. I just you know, win the game, get the 40, 48 wins, and um, and we reach that, man. It's enough said to me. I, I I can't be more happier than 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 um 
where we at as a team, as an organization, as a franchise, everything. We're in a good, solid place, New York, ladies and gentlemen. And, and even though that pick might be the 20th pick, uh, do we still get the Dallas pick this year? Very good tradable asset pick, even though it might be 20 till we finally get that pick from the Porzingis deal. Um, we got our own pick. We got a couple of seconds here and there. So, you know, sky's the limit for New York. If we got some good contracts that won't be on the books, that'll come off the books. We'll see how it goes. But, um, you know, I'm happy about everything. I'm happy with the Nick organization overall, you know, and just overall. I'm, I'm excited about what we did the last couple of years. And just hope we keep building, man. And, it's, you know, another game starts tonight. Going in and try to get Boston to beat down and get in the pot. Yeah, man. Um, what time is What time is it? Yeah, seven ten. But yeah, yeah, man. Um, but listen, tonight anyway, realistic game. Um, depending on who play or who not, I got the New York Knicks one hundred seven to one hundred tonight, ladies and gentlemen. New York Knicks one hundred seven one hundred. We get to forty eight wins tonight, and we about to get it popping. That's what I'm rolling with that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Salute to everybody in the family in the chat. Hit that like and subscribe button for your brothers, man. Damn, you know, all that, you know, all that good stuff. But she had shot power, man. It's gonna go down tonight, man. I hope we can get this win and get it over with. Um, my mantra is control the pace, grab them rebounds, shoot your free throws, shoot over 36% from three point land tonight. I think this is, um, the way I looked at it, I'm hope uh, I'm not saying I'm hopeful, but I, I don't think the, uh, Boston is going to play three of their starters. that's not going to play tonight. You know what I mean? I don't believe. So mm -hmm. with that being said, I think we're going to get out there and cruise to a win. I'm going to put, uh, the Knicks. 118 to 101, 118 to 101. I think we're going to cruise to a win. I don't think you, we're probably not going to see Porzingis tonight. I don't think Tatum is going to be out there tonight. They may tonight, and that Xavier guy is out. So I think they're going to, you know, you may see, uh, why, you know, you might see a couple of plays because they don't have that many plays that they could play, you know, their whole bench. But I don't think you're going to see Porzingis tonight. I don't think they want to show any cards. I don't think they want to show us any plays that we can um uh that Tom Thibodeau could go uh 24 hours of just sitting there and his mind is going like dick, 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 figuring <laughs> out how to situate a right a right. defense against him and stuff like that. You right. know what I mean? So I don't think I don't think they're gonna do any of that tonight. So with that being said, um I got the Knicks uh 117 to 101. I think it's gonna be a uh a, a, a easy win. We may see hopefully this will be a, a good night to see. You know, uh, maybe a topping off the bench, uh, a couple of the guys that's off the bench, some Sims, you know, I mean, some guys so we can sit our guys and be be uh, be more prepared for tomorrow's game against Brooklyn. Hey, Sha, um, Jermaine and my man said all of them playing tonight. All of Boston. Yeah, players. they all they're coming out. Yeah, they probably play. They, they hey, probably hey, gonna hey, play hey. a quarter. To, they probably play to the halftime. A hey, New York and Boston, brother. Yeah, they active. Let's see what happens. Hey, 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 um, hey, hey, well, I, I mean, I'm with it. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see all the smoke. I, right. That made me. That made me stay up all night, even though I'm off tomorrow. That made me right. want so because I, I'm, I'm hoping that they play the guys because I want to stay more engaged into the game. But I thought just because this is the Knicks, they may not want to. But let's see what happens. You know, they, they active. Let's see. I hope. I hope to see it tonight because I want to see OG shut somebody down tonight. Right. Right. Hey, hey, NYC or any other time of the year. I would love to see that, but they got a back to back. They got to play um, Brooklyn Nets tomorrow, so I, I think we go to. I, I, yo, if that was early in the season. I would want to see a triple over time, but not tonight, my brother. Though we got to go for the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow, and we trying to get the fifty wins, man. So it's all good. But I would love to see that too. But that shit would be crazy. Double overtime fire and Brunson close it out with a with a three three point or get somebody to shake and bake coat and mix and get in the paint and do the day. My man D Ross got one eighteen ninety nine. He's not playing with that piece tonight. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. Um, he said Boston want to make sure we win so they don't meet us to the finals. You know what it is, Allah God. You know what it is, brother. <coughs> they that's gonna be like I said. The, if the Knicks if Knicks get to the Eastern Conference Finals and lose to Boston without Julius Randle, I'm happy. I'm happy. I can't ask for more than all. I need to do is Knicks got the first round in 2021. Last year they got to the second round. They just gotta get to the third round for me this year. Because once they get to the third round this year, the next year finals, that's what they're gonna do. I'm going one. We already got to the first round with Tibbs. We got to the second round with Tibbs. We get to the third round with Tibbs. Then we want to ring with Tibbs, and then we good to go. That's all I'm looking for. It's step by step. You know that's building. You know that so we build a step by step to a high form of elevation, my brother. You already know. 
step one, step two, step three, and step four. Close the door, say no more. That's how we get it, man. Let's do it, New York. But tonight it's going to go down, man. I'm looking at the Knicks again, like I said, man, on 100, 107. Um, let's see what they made of. I want to I want to see certain matches. I want to see Deuce Bride slow down Peyton Pritchard tonight. That's a big matchup I'm looking for in that second unit because that he's one of their main cogs off that second unit. Um, so I want to see him go out there and get a pop in. Um, what's that other cat who shoot the lights out there with the um, – um, Hauser, Hauser, who can light him up out there. I want to see who's going to guard Hauser. And I, I want to see what I think you going to do. Uh, what's his name? Fresh. Uh, it's got to be a guard, more like a guard thing, because um, Hauser's like a two, two, three. So it might, it might, it, it might throw Pressure. John Park near with him. Pressure's pretty big. He can't, I don't know if he can handle Hauser like that, but you never know. But um, I, I think um, maybe, maybe they might roll out or keep. Josh Hart near with the second unit every now and then. It's, we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, he said pressure back situation. Did not play last game. Coach's decision. He haven't been showing me nothing. He, I, I, I get the minute thing, but even without the minute shot power, his energy is not there. I mean, you know, just like I should call Mitchell Robinson out about his energy not being there. Pressure Chua is not it was not giving us what he was giving us two three weeks ago. So I don't know is it, what, what it is, but you know, I, hopefully he turned it around. But like I said, he's not there. Him and him and um. Alex Burks is not there right now. So Ted's like, listen, you can't perform, you can't play. And I noticed that that game against Chicago, another guy like Pressure Chua was right there. Somebody grabbed the rebound. He did not even move. I'm like, dude, you could have grabbed a rebound or blocked the shot. You didn't even make an attempt to do it. So when Ted see that you're not putting an effort, he's going to sit you down. And that's what happened to Pressure Chua. His effort wasn't there except for that one thing. He died on the floor, got, and that's what my man got. But you know, so I think Tibbs seeing some of the things that I'm looking at, like you know, Tibbs is one of the guys. Like it's all about effort. If you ain't putting the effort in like you need to. I think it's gonna be interesting, man. Hey, John down. Drew Holiday better get ready for Brunson. Brunson, good as Drew Holiday is, Brunson been giving that boy some business though. He been giving him some business, man. Real tough. So you know, we got to see how it goes, man. Um, that cat been giving the business, man. Superman Daniel, salute, salute. Yeah, and that 90 kind of with you on that, man. He just haven't been getting on the effort. You know, and I think he'd get it together. But, um, you know, just you got to do that. Good thing about holding people accountable. Because if it wasn't Tibbs, a lot of coaches like Fisdale would have let that boy play. Tibbs hold you accountable. If you don't play right, you're not playing. If you're not performing, you're not playing. That's why they bought him to New York. The whole cat's accountable. And everybody, they he he, he hold accountable, they wound up being good. So that just you got to have coaches that could do that. You ain't you ain't getting grades right. You ain't going outside to play. That's all to it, <laughs> you know. You ain't, so it is what it is, man. But it's gonna be fun, man. We just we just chopping up the bits, man. Try to waste some time. But ladies and gentlemen, right now, the only game tonight on the doctor that's important is ours, because the only other games are Pistons and Bulls, Jazz and Rockets, Warriors and Blazers. But tomorrow is gonna be really, really go down. Tomorrow is gonna be the game that we want to see. I think it's gonna be real important tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I put them out there right now. Let's, here's the biggest game tomorrow: Magic and 76ers. Pacers, and game. that's the game right there. That is the game right there. Pacers and Cavaliers. And obviously, we got the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow. Um, every every other game, uh, Heat and Raptor, no big deal. We already locked in. But another big game, the, the Bucks and the Thunder. No Giannis. I know they've been sitting SGA and all of them. But let's say if the Bucks lose that game, then if they be fall one game behind them. And then guess who they last game of the season? They played the, the Orlando Magic in Orlando. Orlando's pretty good at home. So if they lose them two games, Knicks wind up being the second. You know, so it, you know it's going to be interesting, man. How I go down, Pacers and Hawks, Heat and Raptors, the last game of the season, Cavaliers and the Hornets. Cavaliers probably win that one. Sixers and Nets. So and Matt, but that game right there is going to be the one though. Magic and Bulls, Magic and the Bucks are the last game of the season, and that's, that's why I think it's important that we win out all our games. We win tonight. We pretty much locked in for the fourth seed. To me, I don't think there's no way. We look at the standards. If we win tonight, we 48 and 32 with two games left. So, the, so right now, 34, if we lose 34 games, we still at the fifth spot. But I do think that we will um, wind up in the third spot for sure. I think even if we were to lose tonight, we still got a half a game on Cleveland. But then we play tomorrow. You know what I mean? And Cleveland got a, a tough game tomorrow against the Pacers. So that can go either way too. Um, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight all the way down to the last game of the season. But right now, I think if the Knicks win tonight, I think we're gonna we're gonna wind up locking up that third seed, and that's what I'm really banking on is that we go out there tonight and, and beat these boys not for a lot of reasons, just to show and prove that we're capable and we can also uh, stay in stay in that third spot possible 
depending on what happened with the Bucks tomorrow in the last two games and do that as well. So, you know, I'm really excited about this thing moving forward, man. Let's go get it, man. We in the building. Knicks in the building tonight. They're about to get a popping in Bean Town. Let's go out there and try to get these boys to win. But that's a good team, ladies and gentlemen. They 62, they 62 and 17 for a reason. They are loaded. Um, much as I can't stand the Boston Southern from rivalries and all that, you got to give credit where credit due. You got to give them their flower. They are a loaded basketball team. Uh, but at the same time, we loaded too. So I uh, made the best team win. Iron sharp as iron. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? A mano, a mano. Let's get down. Let's get at it. And let's see if we can go in there and play a little bully ball. I, I, like I said, they play on the night. This is good, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I want to see. The Knicks and Boston Celtics fully loaded. I, I get it. Um, and even if we lose tonight, we're still good. We still be in third because we gotta we 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 gotta we gotta set us better than Cleveland anyway. So well, I think I'm not mistaken, I think we stay in third place. Um, if we lose tonight, yeah, at, them 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 teams in five and six better watch out for the 76ers. Right. You know what I mean, right. yep, yep. So that, that's that's another thing that you gotta watch too. The 76ers is just one game from being in the fifth position. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and and you know that they've been on a little winning streak. I think Max is out, but Embiid. I think the last game we played was like thirty some points. It looked real good. Fall on the floor, throwing some shot up in the air, and it goes in the basket. You know what I mean? So those teams better really watch out. You know what I mean? Like we talked about in the background before. What time is it? Well, like we talked about them before. If Embiid went and went down, you know, we may not see the magic and the paces in fifty six right now. You know what I mean? So you know, mm -hmm. with that being said, you know, just with with that being said, you know, uh, you know, this is this 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 is this is the time of the year. If you are a basketball fan, especially if you're a true Knicks fan, this is very exciting. Every game right now is exciting. And why and and even if you're not a like me and Devon do a podcast, you pay attention to the to the standards. I bet you I bet you if you don't finish watching the game or you knew that somebody played last night, you go to your stand, you go to your Google and go to your standards and be like, OK, Nick's still there. All right. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, real life. Salute to the family, man. Salute to everybody in the chat. Nick 100, GM, APAP, D, Ross, Jerry, the whole crew. Smash them likes, family. Yeah, smash the like button for your boys, man. Let's get them up, run them up with a thumbs up. We ain't here. We dropping these jewels. Nick's about to go ahead and drop some jewels on Boston tonight. I ain't scared of these dudes. Let's get it, man. That, that's a juggernaut basketball team over there. They doing a the damn thing. But know what? I ain't never scared. Let's go in there tonight. Like Shy Power said, troll the pace, rebound. Defend that three-point line. You make them put that ball on the floor and drive to the hole. That way you got Mitchell Robinson, Hart and Hartenstein, and Anna Nobi them back there. Just guard that perimeter on these cats, man, because them cats can light them up from out there. Make them put the ball on the floor, and we'll take it from there. But, you know, our defense kind of play against everybody, man. That's one thing I can say about these boys, man, when, they, when the Knicks come to play. They really do come to play. So, you know, it, it's a good thing that, you know, they're going to go out there tonight. and they, Knicks know what they're they fighting for. And so you're going to get they they're going to get their best tonight. Whether they win the game or not, you're going to get their best. Um, and I, and I do believe that, Shaw Powell. You're going to get Knicks and come out there tonight. Um, if they can win that first quarter, you never know. But this is a good test for the Knicks because if you have a great game against Boston tonight, then that means you can go up in the playoffs and, and fuck around and give it to anybody. You give it to Boston. I just want to see the Knicks give it to Boston for one or two quarters. I don't care if they lose the game. Just let them know that this is what you're going to get when you fight against us in the playoffs. You know what I mean? So the Knicks go out there and handle Boston well tonight. That bodes well for them against any other team in the Eastern Conference in the playoffs. Because if you can do certain things to this team, imagine you can do it to teams who are not even on Boston level. So it's a win-win no matter what happens tonight for the Knicks, man. Go out there and get a pop and let's get this thing going, man. We win this game. That's it, man. Um, and we look forward to tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we got the Brooklyn Nets at the World Most Famous tomorrow. We'll be back back on tomorrow. Same real time, same real channel. 6.30 um, be the um, the, um, the pregame. And then that last game of the season, Sunday. Nick closed it out against the Bulls. Um, and I know it should be fun, man. And on Sunday, I'm like, listen, we're going we're gonna to do a little longer thing Sunday, man. You know, we, I'm, I'm just going to let it ride Sunday. That's the last game of the season. We got to get amped for the playoffs. And um and I think that's what it's gonna be, man. My man Darren, Darren, salute to you, my brother. Thank you from so much for first of all for becoming a member and a family member. Appreciate you, Darren. You already know and everybody, man. Your cats have been riding with us all year long. We might not, oh, yeah. we might not be the most popular um podcast, but we one of the realest though. 
we might not be the most popular, but we one of the realest ones. You know, that's real talk. You know what I mean? So, you know, we and we, we know why we the realest because we got the realest fans up in here with us. Always come to right. show up and show us love, man. So you know how we do that, man. Uh, next we'll talk. It's Ron Shaw Power, man. That's what we do, man. But let's go in there and beat down, beat down Bean Town tonight and pop some beans up in that piece and tell take the leprechaun and um and give and just get that luckness out of him. I don't know. We gotta kidnap the leprechaun and throw him in a bag and get him up out of him. Like, something. We, we, for real, we got to get him up out of there. Yeah, man, let's get this win tonight, man. Um, it's all about the New York Knicks tonight, Devon. Yeah, yeah, real talk, man. Listen, uh, listen, man, we're going to get about it for everybody getting into their game mode, get into what they're going to do. My man D Nice came in the building, so I don't want to leave without a shout out my brother D Nice. D Rice was popping, my man. Salute, salute. But yeah, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I got 107 100 tonight. I'm going I'm to stand on that like I've been standing on the Knicks all year long, man. We ain't never scared of nobody. And I know we show these boys what they're going to be playing up against tonight in the playoffs. Di Vincenzo knocked down some three tonight like he's been doing. And I know we knocked down a couple of corner threes going in, dunk dunk on poor thing of them a couple of times, and and, 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 and then we'll be good from there. <laughs> Real talk. So, shout out, pal. Give me your last words, my brother, so we can get up out of here and let the fam great get into their mode. Salute to you, Divine. As always, my brother. Yes, sir. Salute, salute to the family in the chat. Y'all yeah, been popping. Smash those like buttons if you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe and all that other good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that next friend of a friend to tell that friend. You know what I mean? And let's get it popping. Um, let's get it, Divine. Yes, indeed. Like my man D. Ross said, we the VIP podcast for sure. The invisible panel ain't no other. We got mad intellectuals that come up in here. Y'all be dropping some mad jewels up in here, man. That's why, like, Shaw Powell said, he got to get a neck pillow because he always. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I'll be. I'm my next summer, man. Next time I'll be lit, though. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go buy me a camera. I'm gonna go get it, the real deal, holy oh, field next year. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's a pleasure, man. Listen, y'all enjoy the game, man. Let's get Boston up out of here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We just gotta go in there and let them know what they're up against. Win or lose, I know it's going to be a good game, but I got the Knicks doing the damn thing, man. So let's go in there and get it popping tonight. Salute to the whole family, everybody, man. Come on, New York. Let's go. Let's go. I'll see you cats the next day. Same real time, same real channel. So I power my brother. Salute to the chat and everybody. Peace. Peace. We We It's time for this real taller hobby going live on a televisor on the blue skies for we on that Friday night Nick sit with our Nick constituents lift the altar trip that's that Nick orange and blue I'm glad you knew it's the brand you understand how we do my man we stand on business this real talk brand you know we in this we in the streets of Manhattan people in the action people people who reacting leading up to Nick and he getting it cracked cause it's game time we in the world more famous we're seen in this locker team up I be struggling just like a peanut you know the Nick fan we still real giddy and litty to the New York City gritty committee to be the city by 50. We're about to get me a nice sight with a smart quarter on ice. Both of you bucks in the quarter. You pay the order with my smart device. Right. We the got them getting them popping in the Apple Rock. Rep the home, let the party stopping on the Apple Rock. It's Dick's Real Talk. The team streaming on YouTube.com. We got two dudes doing good moves spot on. Dropping them off. From the cop, we got a spot to drop in some of the hottest. Content that's up in your head, and I'm saying, you know, upstairs, leaving the guard after they've got me back. Both like a cab and fly back to the triangle jet lag. Next real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We inside. Next real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We inside. Next real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We inside.